Now, I covered this in my live stream yesterday, but uh, I showed it to other Romanians and they're absolutely baffled. They just do not understand the mentality of the Westerner. And uh, I do agree with them to some extent. It's just that I'm exposed to it on a daily basis, so it doesn't shock me as much. But at the end of the day, the story is about a lady that couldn't fit into a Boeing 777, a very, very large airplane. And she considers that she's being discriminated. And there's a huge conversation online going about this, but um, not a single person is asking, why doesn't she go on a diet? Like the idea that she could actually lose weight is so unthinkable, so out of people's grasp, that it is more likely to suggest that the entire airplane industry creates larger airplanes to accommodate for this one person. It is as me being unable to reach the electric socket on the wall to the right and suggest that maybe society should bring the wall closer to me. And, and we do live in a place where the woke ideology is considering that, yes, maybe we should bring the wall closer to V because at the end of the day, he just doesn't want to get up. So this is what I would say the biggest problem with woke ideology is and can be summarized that the entire society, the entire way of doing things needs to reshape, change in order to fit a very small group of people. Like the, the, the group of people that are small, they can't change themselves in order to fit society. No, like society needs to change. And the reason I'm saying this is that there was another TikToker last month and she was saying that the airplane company needs to make bigger seats. And she understands that by doing so, all the other passengers would have to pay extra, but she just doesn't care. So in other words, people like myself have to pay extra because other individuals just don't care. How is that fair? How, how is that? Or like, since when is that the majority has to bend to the whims of the minority. Now, I do understand that in some cases, you know, when the minority can be accommodated, it should. Like, for example, a wheelchair ramp. I, it doesn't bother anyone. I, I can still go up and down the stairs. And if it's possible that to the left, there is a wheelchair ramp for people that are in a wheelchair to use, that's perfectly fine. But what would it be, it'd be fine if we remove all the stairs from society and have wheelchair ramps everywhere? And then it makes it very difficult for other people to go up and down because they can slide. You know, it's, it's a lot more difficult to carry baggage while going up a slope. But anyway, right. So this is the, the main number one issue. The second issue has to do with TikTok and social media in general. It encourages people to do crazy stuff, to, to post ridiculous things in order to get views. There is no way that this lady didn't know what she was doing. Like if she can't fit in a Boeing 777, she clearly cannot fit in a cab. She probably doesn't fit in a bus. Like she knows about these things and she wouldn't make a video about the car industry discriminating her. She would make a video about the bus industry discriminating her. Why? Because it doesn't get views. You need to hit the correct talking point is the airplane company is discriminating against you doesn't make any sense like if there was a natural formation if there was a cave where tourists go in in order to see the stalactites and the stalagmites and the beauty of mother nature but you have a person that's too chubby to get into that cave is mother nature then discriminating against that person you see you see the problem with this line of thinking but yeah social media is the reason that a lot of people are assholes right now and you, you see you know all these uh Girls in bikinis taking pictures in front of Auschwitz and creating controversy. Uh, there was a uh, last day I saw a gentleman from Somalia that went to Japan and he was in a bus and was going Hiroshima, Nagasaki, we're going to do it again. Why? Because he was on TikTok and he was getting views and he was being as disrespectful as possible. Like in Japan, you're not allowed to film other people unless given consent. You're not, it, it's not polite to be loud in a bus or in a train, or any form of public transport. And more importantly, if you know anything about Japanese uh, censorship, usually when it comes to the atomic bomb, they're, they're very censorious. Like the uh, owner of the manga Attack on Titan 
had to step in and say that if they do not show the nuclear explosion when the Colossal Titan transforms, then they're not going to have the last season of the anime. Like, that that's how important it is. You know, like, a lot of people think Japan doesn't have censorship when it comes to the nuclear weapon. It doesn't, for obvious reasons, right? So, so this guy goes over there, starts making an ass. Why? Because of TikTok. Because it gets views, right? And uh, this is what you get. You know, complete encouragement of an unhealthy lifestyle as well. Like, when I went a little bit on the plus side, the moment I got up a flight of stairs and I realized that I'm breathing heavily, I said to myself, okay, well, if I don't do anything, I'm going to end up in a hospital. Like, clearly, I need to put a stop to this because if I keep just gaining and gaining weight, like, at one point, it's going to be difficult to get up. And I gotta say, you know, it's very difficult to lose weight the more rotund you are. Like, when you're, when you're a lot thinner, it, it's very easy. But if you keep delaying it, and at one point, you just realize that you can't breathe properly, it's going to be very difficult to lose weight. It was uh, one of the most difficult things that I did in my life. It affects your mood. It affects uh, um, the, the, the way you behave with other people. It's, it's very difficult to be on a diet. But I did it, right? Because it's for my own health, like I realized this. I didn't blame society, though. You know, I didn't go into that building when I went up the flight of stairs and blame society for not putting an elevator there and discriminating against me. Like, that, that is such a ridiculous mindset that, that is coming from the progressive West right now that it's astonishing. No other ideology on Earth has this type of mentality. It's like, okay, you're doing something bad, but you shouldn't stop what you're doing. You should demand that society accommodates you. It's just so bizarre. And as you can see, like, her post actually drew 5,000 comments, and many people disagreed with her. I think that she disagrees with herself. I'm willing to put money that she disagrees with herself, but she's just doing it because of the views. A person said, look, I'm a really big guy, and I don't fit in things either, but, like, I just accommodate and accept that for myself. That's why I fly business or first class. I'm not a big guy, but I'm not small. Everyone is happy, and I get peace. Again, like, if a viewing is not enough... Some people suggested private jets. Dude, like, a private jet wouldn't be able to accommodate. Like, you would need something that's... Uh, like, if you're basically stating that you can't get into a Boeing, you would need something of military capacity. You know, those planes that carry jeeps? Uh, maybe, like, uh, one of those modern bombers? Like, maybe something like that with a cargo bay? And, and then maybe, you know, like, if a Boeing is not enough... But it, this is ridiculous, all right? Again, as I mentioned before, like, everything is acceptable except to suggest that maybe she can go on a diet. No, like, that's that's too much. But, you know, now she got, I guess, like, 5,000 comments and uh, probably more after uh, so many people did uh, uh, an article on this and the media is is uh, giving a link to her TikTok. So, I mean, I, I, I guess she managed to accomplish what she set out to do. Meanwhile, I'm going to go have a live stream. If you guys want to check me out, there's uh, a link into the description. And if you're watching this live, you're going to see in the comment uh, in the chat. There's going to be a blue link that you can click. And hopefully I'm going to see you on my live stream. Take care.